Hello. Yeah. I just took a nap a while ago. And I don't know that I'm completely awake. But I'm trying to be. How is everybody? I hope you're having a good day. And I'm going to set you down for a bit and I'll be back. Because I want to take some ice You see this mess? This is what we have to deal with and untangle all the time. The more trips I make back and forth, the more it wraps around itself. So now I gotta untangle it. Okay. We got these swivels to help keep that from untangling. For some reason, they're not doing their job. In fact, I don't feel like it's swiveling much. Oh. No, it, it swivels fine. So I don't know why it's doing that. They suggested maybe 25 foot, but 25 foot's going to do the same thing. Oh. And I need 50 feet to get around where I want to go. Well, it's making it heavy. But I'm sitting down, so I will be fine, I swear. It quit raining. In fact, now it's just kind of a few fluffy clouds. And the rest is blue sky. So it's not bad today at all. It's just kind of dismal. I probably, it probably isn't dismal when you get out from under these trees. But I mean, it is because there's been, there has been quite a bit of rain over the last few days, but we're still in kind of a drought. It's just not quite enough. The flooding doesn't help. I know a lot of people think, well, if it's that much, you know, when it's so much that it floods, it just flows away faster. It doesn't have a chance to soak into the soil. So those torrential rains with their flash flood just really does not help the soil. Because it just doesn't have time to soak in. It flows away too fast. I took a nap and I'm still tired. I think it's just because I wake up slow. <laughs> and also I took my afternoon meds and they... This is why I don't drive anymore. I used to just love to get out and drive and go places, but I'm not dumb. I realize that This medication can make make me a little bit slow and drowsy sometimes, so it's better not to take that chance. Even with drinking caffeine, I, it'll it'll pop, it'll perk me up, but I don't know. I just we decided it was best that I not drive anymore. Sometimes I'm tempted to go out and just take a little trip around town so that I can say that I drove. I've got my driver's license. I just renewed it. So. Oh, there. The state is, they're not opening up the state DMV, the main one, but counties that have DMVs available, 
See, they reduced a whole lot of that stuff a few years back, and they used to have to go to your own county courthouse to take your driving tests and get all that. But because they closed so many of them in so many counties, for budget reasons, they now you can go to another county. But they know there's a lot of kids wanting to get their driver's license and putting it off. Personally, I don't think that's bad. <laughs> but I was a teenager once. I remember one time, and it was it was so it's so funny to look back on now. But it was I was so mad at my parents. They had this old it was a Chevy pickup. It's one of those sticks. I knew how to drive a stick. My problem was always the balance between the clutch and the gas. And I would really try not to stall it out. But this one time, it was in the drive. I'm trying to get <laughs> I'm trying to get out of there. And it's kind of on a slope, and I would get just up to the top of that, and I'd try to get going, and it, I started to get out, and <laughs> the truck died. I killed it. And so then, it, of course, when it's in, when, it, when a standard vehicle, isn't isn't in gear because it's not and these were back in manuals everything was manual and I kept rolling back and just bumping this tree and my parents could have come out and helped me they really could have they knew I knew how to drive that thing they just stood in there and laughed at me they stood in the house watching out the window laughing at me I finally, after about three tries and killing that dadgum thing, I finally got that, that ratio. After that, I was fine. It was just getting over that hump. I don't know why I've been, I had been driving stick and, and column shift for a long time, for a while, and that day I just had trouble. So... I thought they were going to get really mad at me for bumping that tree. But no, it wasn't hurting anything. It was an old truck. It wasn't hurting the tree. It was just a little bump. But they were sure having a fun time laughing at me. Over <laughs> but I got out of there. I went to town and I got my friend and we just tootled around town and goofed off. Beware of parents who like to laugh at your mistakes, which we do, because now I've got, I get a chance to laugh at my kids' mistakes. <laughs> or their, you know, their bumps. They had automatics now. I'm going to add in something here that I got the other day when I was out here. Hey, guess what? There's a bird in our bird bath. She's taking a bath, too. <laughs> Isn't that something? You can hear a whole bunch of birds. She's taking quite the bath. She or he. Okay. Don't want to show you the messy part of the bath. It's not really a bathroom. Okay, you want to see my mirror? There's my mirror. Hello, me. I'm on my tippy toes now. <laughs> the thing of it is that... Oh, and I'm in the dark again. Bear with me. This... Quarantine and coronavirus stuff started while, actually while we were in the hotel when they were doing this. And 
he had the the mirror doors he had ordered for that cabinet hadn't arrived so <laughs> and then everybody got quarantined or well they didn't really really quarantine us this I mean the governor didn't say everybody has to stay home you're quarantined this and that but what they did say was you know take caution and and each kind of city in town there are some cities that have quarantined but it was right about then <laughs> that all this hit and so he has not been able to come back and put the doors on hopefully they did finally arrive and they had a baby which I would never ask anybody with a baby to come near anything that might give them might put them in any kind of danger that's just I mean we're not in danger but you start getting people too close it's happening down in it's ha happening on the beaches again and people are just going crazy they don't give a dang about masks or anything and please do subscribe and give us a thumbs up click that notification bell and come back tomorrow share this please and I love you all very very much because that's a command of God and I'm not gonna break it if I can help it I can get mad at somebody but I can get over it <laughs> so we'll see you next time bye